everyone, it's Christy with Anchor Life 5. I am going to give you an updated room tour today. Um, I have made some changes here and there, and sometimes for me it is more fun actually like rearranging and putting things away than it is actually crafting. <laughs> sometimes I know that sounds bad, but um, actually we're going to start over here. And my craft room is actually my um, guest bedroom, so um, I share it. So on the top shelf right there, we have, um, that is my ribbon and my um, tissue paper for my Etsy shop. Um, the bottom of the second shelf is just notebooks, same right there, notebooks. Um, the bottom shelf is just stuff, um, paper pads, different things, notebooks, boxes, for my Etsy shop, my 12 by 12 paper pads, loose paper, journaling cards and stamping supplies. Um, on top there, we just have some of my pretties, things that make me happy. That big tall jar has all of my little tiny erasers that I love, a Steelers fan here. So all of that stuff. Um, next to it, we have my little, my background. <laughs> for filming and these boxes right here are all of my TNs that are made and finished and posted in my shop. Um, same in that one. Um, the top drawer are paper paper packs. Um, um, that actually belongs in here. These are wall decors. Um, loose paper and stickers and the bottom drawer has um, Halloween stuff. Over here we have ribbon and my punches and lace and yarn. So that's all of that. Um, over here in my, I'm not going to say the name because I know I'm going to butcher it, but this is my cart from Ikea. And let's pull it out and we'll go through this real quick. Um, okay. On the top, we have stapler and staples. Those little jars just have different embellishments, things like that, buttons, paper clips. Um, back here we have foam squares, foam tape, Velcro. Um, this is tape, glue, adhesives, little bows, my glue sticks. Um, Oh, that's a big one. Um, my two chompers, and then we have uh, my adhesive roller. Right here, I just stuck these little gold baskets on the side. This one has just little punches, and this one has um, some different adhesives and stuff like that. On the second shelf, we have um, their mason jars, and they just have different pen collections in them. And then this is all of my... Um, stationery and cards and envelopes and stuff like that. Um, down here, um, those two have like large post-it note pads and things like that that I use um, for my TNs. And I am so sorry for the wobbling. And in this one, this one I got from Michaels and it has page flags right here on the top and then on the bottom it has like smaller post-it notes um, and things like that in it. So that is my cart from Ikea and it stays um, on the side of my desk right here where it is handy and I can get to it whenever I need to. So let's push that back. Um, under my desk I have this little cart that I got from Home Goods, and I love it because I can just roll it out and it fits perfectly. Um, right here, I have different buttons, and then these two are googly eyes. Um, in this one, this little container, I have little bags and things like that. Sequence. Um, this I got off of Wish, I think it was. And it is like a little washi tape um, dispenser. And I keep my anchor ones in there. 
and then these are cards that I use in my TNs that I keep right here. And then I have um, three of these, four of these. There's four of these. Um, I got this idea off of Gretchen, off of Cat and Paws, and I just kind of separated all of my, you know, little paper clips and little embellishments and things like that. So they are um, handy and I know exactly what I'm looking for and I don't have to go searching. Um, on the bottom, I keep my paper cutter and my scoreboard and then this is a box from Michael's and it has um, like the little photo boxes in it and that's where I keep all of my embellishments. Um, okay, over here, this is the, um, okay, this is the washi dispensers from, or the washi storage from Michael's. Um, I pretty much have them organized where they make sense to me, um, but they are great because they pull out and there are three lines, three rows right there, and they are absolutely, they are full. Um, the bottom one right here, um, I keep my business cards in. Um, I'll do a little shameless plug right there. There we go, shameless plug. <laughs> um, on the top right there is just a little three container thing, and it just has um, bits and pieces and doodads and stuff like that. Let me move my drink. Right here is my personal TN that I made. This is my memory planner from Heidi Swap. And then um, my mini happy planner that has my bills and things like that in it. Um, just my personal stuff. Um, on the top, the little cat cup came from Five Below and it keeps my tweezers and things like that for my jewelry making supplies. The unicorn one came from hmm, Marshalls maybe? And it has my um, a pin collection that I use all the time. Um, I think this one came from Marshalls also, and it has my scissors and different cutting tools. My little planner girl back here that I got from Miss Shar out of Sparkling Shar, and it has pens and pencils. Um, that little container has odds and ends in it, and it came from Target Dollar Spot. Um, this cup I painted with my daughter at Paint a Piece, and it has all of my Sharpies in it. Um, this little container I got from Tuesday morning, and it has my glasses and my um, fuse tool ruler and just like paper pads and things like that that I need to get to quickly. And it also has my little um, stamp right here. Um, we have my, my op light. I have it turned off right now. Um, up here we have a beautiful... Um, tassel chunky charm that was made for me that I love um, okay sorry I turned off the light because that was hideous this is um, I have a video on this but this is actually a shelving system display shelf that I made um, using Ikea boxes um, I couldn't find anything that I liked and so I kind of created one myself um, it just has my little happies um, I love Hello Kitty, a little journal that I got in New Orleans. Um, I love my trolls. Everybody needs a little compassion and kindness dust. Um, huge dealers fans and unicorns over here. Um, on top, I have another shelf um, that, oh, I got, it's my last name, starts with my last name, and I got that out of a Michael's grab bag. Um, Anchor Life 5 light up box out of a grab bag. Um, a little storyboard right here that I got from Joann's and that little container um, has like cards and things like that um, from YouTube subscribers that really mean a lot to me so I keep those up there. Alright, back down to my desk. Um, right here are these little containers my husband got for me, um, the little vintage containers he got for me at an estate sale and I use these when I'm making um, my chunky charms. 
Um, these two containers right here I got from Tuesday morning, and this one just holds different little papers and things like that. Um, this has paper clips that I've made that I use for my TNs. This one has my um, O-rings, jump rings, whatever you want to call them, for my chunky charms. This one has just different um, resin pieces. Um, this one has, this is Mickey, Minnie, and Hello Kitty. This is just um, different foam embellishment pieces. This one is one that I love, and it has all of my um, resin pieces in there. And then this little drawer right here has um, paper clips that I've made also. Okay, these drawers right here. Um, this one, just doodads. This has my binder clips, um, tassels and pom-poms that I haven't made. This has gold and black binder clips, gold and black paper clips, silver paper clips, little silver paper clips, and these are like the large paper clips. Um, this one has pastels, neons, primary, and little primaries. And all of those came from Dollar Tree, and I love them. Um, over here, um, I got this at Michael's, and it spins around. And I just have tassels and chunky charms that people have made for me that I love, and I keep them on display. And then these right here are ones that um, I've made. Um, that are currently in my Etsy shop okay down in this one over here um, are all stuff for TNs like different papers and things like that um, that first black one has the target dollar spot adhesive pockets and this other one um, just has different you know these kind of books and stuff like that um, up here, this has like foam pieces and cardstock and vellum and doilies and different um, category categories for projects that I'm currently working on. Um, up top, we have a little case that my husband made for me using PVC pipe, and it has my straws and um, chenille sticks, a little. Um, Thing that I got from New Orleans and then that container just has stuff that I haven't put away yet <laughs> um, this right here I got this from Walmart and it has all of my planner stickers these are just loose and um, like single sticker sheets and then back here has all of my books um, these containers um, this one has this one I got from Walmart, and it has, um, these are like paper clips and the bobby pin things, um, the magnetic bookmarks, and then different paper clips and elastics and things like that in it. And then this one just has keychains, um, like Dollar Tree items. And then this one um, came from Michael's. This has my tassels. All my tassels organized by sizes. And then on the bottom right there, all of my pom-poms um, that I use in my TNs. And then the last one. It has, let's see what it has in it. <laughs> I love these containers. Um, different keychains, different embellishment pieces, things like that. And on the bottom, it has like um, the Dollar Tree, um, you know, these keychains and the Dollar Tree tassels and, and things like that in it. So that is those boxes. Okay, and in this container um, are jewelry making supplies that I don't use all that much, but I still need access to. And those little um, folders are current working projects and things like that. 
got my iPad because I watch YouTube, my fuse tool, and my um, glue guns um, down under my desk. These are things that I don't really get to very often. Those are like bigger notebooks if I want to make larger TNs. Um, that just has bits and pieces and doodads and stuff like that. Um, my trash can. Um, over here, we have my laminator. These drawers I got from Walmart. This first one has cardstock. I can't shut it with one hand because um, it keeps sliding. And this one has my laminating sheets in it. We got my big kick, my die cut machine, and then a basket back here. And they have um, older dies and then my flat dies and some of my my big ones. I don't use it all that much, but all right. So these are connected also to my desk. And in here we have all of my elastics that I use to make my TNs. These are like really, really thin ones, different colors. These right here are ones, um, just plain ones. And um, these are for the binding. And then all of these are ones that I use for my pen loops. Tuesday morning, most of them, um, Walmart now sells these packs right here. And these came from Hobby Lobby. The next drawer has all of my pens that I use for my TNs. Um, I pretty much have them organized <laughs> somewhat. Um, I know what they are. Um, so those are pens that I collect that I put in to my TNs. And then this drawer has all of my um, little size books that I use for my TNs. So there we go. And the bottom one has um, little bags that I collect that I um, I like to give away little goodies whenever I sell something on my Etsy shop. And so those are just little bags that I collect to give away. Um, this top drawer right here has my gemstones, um, just Tim Holtz letters. These are embellishments that I haven't quite used yet. Um, but I want them you know, at my fingertips. Um, the next one has all of my beads that I'm currently working with. Um, they're just pretty beads and we have some seed beads. And these are packs of pearls, things like that. These are um, chains. These came from Dollar Tree and I just have like um, my lobster clasp and some more little seed beads in it. And then these have just like bead collections in them. So these are ones that I use more often and so I keep them in this drawer so I can easily um, grab them when I need them. That bottom one just has bits and pieces and doodads and, and things like that in it. All right, and I wanted to show y'all one more thing in my craft room. This is how I organize my sequence. Um, this container right here I got from Michaels and it is actually designed to hold washi tape. Um, but when I found those, I fell in love with those and I have a ton of sequins and so I'm like, hmm. So what I did was Um, all of these little containers came from Harbor Freight. Um, they actually come in a storage box. I think the storage box is like $4.99, and it contains a lot of these. And they fit perfectly in here. I mean, you can tell. I have them all organized by color. And then what's great is these come out, and there is more underneath here. And these little containers fit so perfectly in here. And so this is how I use, or I, how I hold my sequence. And like I said, this is a container that actually holds washi. 
um, from Michaels. And then these are the little containers that you get from Harbor Freight. Um, and instead of having like a ton of little boxes, um, these are the boxes that they come in. So instead of having like a ton of these, because I think I have like six of these with sequence in them, I just put all of the little containers in here and I have my whites, my dark blues, my light blues, pinks, reds, yellows, greens, purples, um, those are like Mardi Gras, um, golds, silvers, silver and golds, and then I have like mixtures, um, these are mixtures, these are all shamrocks, these are mixtures, these are stars, um, so there we go guys. I hope that y'all enjoyed this craft room tour. I enjoyed sharing my space with you all. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye.